All right. So I want to say thank you to uh, all the potential Falcons that are here. Um, welcome to the Foss High School eighth grade recruitment night. As you can see our motto, I'm a Henry Foss Falcon full of spirit and pride, and I love to hold it down for Henry Foss High. So we're going to skip to an intro video. Hello, future Falcons. We're so happy that you're joining us here tonight to learn all about what it means to be part of the Foss family. We are an IB school, which means we offer the middle years program at the ninth and 10th grade and the deep program at the 11th and 12th grade, as well as soon to be the career program also at the 11th and 12th grade. What does this mean? International Baccalaureate Education. It means that we are going to make certain that we provide an opportunity for students to be for students to explore their thinking, their learning, and to connect with issues around the world. It's not just about what might be happening here in the local Pacific Northwest, but it is about having that cultural relevance that explores everything that is happening in our world today, and then making it relevant and furthering our learning. Students have the opportunity to be inquiry-based learners. They have the opportunity to learn what it means to be risk takers. And what we mean by risk takers is diving into the content and exploring being willing to make mistakes and then growing from those mistakes and furthering their learning. We are really happy to be able to share with you tonight a few of our teachers and their thoughts about what it means to be a FOSS Falcon. But more importantly, we're happy that we have several students who are involved in various levels of the IB curriculum. Some of the students are taking just one or two classes and then we have other those students that are full IB diploma program students. And it's a great opportunity to learn about all the clubs and sports that are available for your students here at FOSS. Our students have the ability to go and explore what interests interest them. They, they come up with sometimes some new clubs and new opportunities. And our staff are more than willing to help, help support all of those interests. We are excited that you are here with us today and we look forward to you being a part of our FOSS family in the future. Take care and talk with you soon. That's our principal, Lysandra Ness. Um, she would have loved to have been here tonight, but we have a football game at Kent Meridian, so she's at the football game cheering on our student athletes. Some other people you'll get to hear from today, and I'll briefly show you on the screen. Um, if you just want to wave, um, you'll have time to introduce yourself later in the PowerPoint. Um, the first person that I'm going to introduce is Mr. Purdy. He's going to talk a little bit about IB and NYP and DP. Then we're going to have two students, Jason Nguyen and Nadia Paredes. We'll have our Daffodil Princess Aisha Ali and Tara Ryan share. Mr. Fullerton, our librarian, he'll also talk about TOK and National Honors. Solon Hay and Travion Johnson, who are both on the football team, made some videos that we'll see later on in the presentation. Ms. Tafuna, one of our counselors. Ms. Crab, the yearbook and business and marketing um, teacher. Uh, myself, Mr. Page. And I'll talk a little bit about clubs, athletics, and history. And Mr. Wagner, our choir, band, and orchestra teacher. So first up presenting will be Mr. Purdy. All right. Hi there, everybody. My name is TJ Purdy, and I'm the instructional coach and IB coordinator at FOSS. Can someone on my team give me a thumbs up if you can hear me OK? OK. Um, so yeah, I just want to briefly uh, share with you about the programs we have at FOSS. You might hear that FOSS is an IB school and there's actually multiple programs in the inter International Baccalaureate system. So I'm going to talk with you about those tonight. Uh, it's an interna internationally recognized program. The programs are internationally recognized. It increases a lot of opportunities um, and it really is a, a building wide commitment by the staff and the students about student
So uh, we take great pride in being the oldest diploma program west of the Mississippi. It's a pretty cool thing that I get to brag about with the other IB coordinators and we teach our students to brag about it too. It's, it's a well-established program that's been around um, since the late 70s and early 80s at Foss High School. Uh, the program itself really teaches holistic thinking and learning. So if students are internationally, globally minded. Uh, it's taught it as an taught as an integrated curriculum, so across disciplinary projects and collaboration by the students and the staff. And it does really develop uh, independent minds that are that are confident and uh, able to solve problems through inquiry based learning. Uh, yeah, so like I started to touch on, we we take great pride in um, celebrating the heritage of many different peoples. Uh, we have a large number of international students who um, are, are temporarily attending FOSS uh, because of our IB program. And the thing that sets IB apart from other advanced programs, one of the things is that um, it's a building wide professional development for the teachers. So I, I do lead the professional development for the teachers. And I like to think of IB as um, a big seven or eight course meal while AP is kind of like the buffet. So with the AP programs, you can go and you can have science and you can go and you can have English. And it's just kind of like those standalone a la carte classes. But when you are an IB student, a full diploma program student at FOSS, you're really eating like the whole meal with multiple courses and they're all well divided out and well planned. Um, when the teachers, agree to work at FOSS, they agree to do above and beyond professional development that other teachers do not have to do. And when a school gets certified to teach or to have the IB program, the whole school is certified or none of the school is certified. That's also different from AP and some of the other programs that are out there. So the teachers really um, buy into the program when they decide to come and work at FOSS. I'm going to pass it over to Jason and Nadia, two of our fantastic diploma program students. Hi, I'm Nadia, uh, Nadia Paredes, and I'm a junior at FOSS. I'm also the treasurer for ASB. Hi, I'm Jason Wynn. I am also a junior at FOSS, and I am the secretary of ASB. Um, uh, in my three years at FOSS, I've become very involved in a lot of different clubs and sports, such as Ping pong, art club, key club, readers and writers, math team, soccer, cross country, um, wrestling, and ASV. Um, and I can say that out of all the things I'm involved in, ASB has definitely had the biggest influence on my high school career. It's given me a lot of good qualities such as, you know, time management, um, communication skills, and just working with the group. Uh, our freshman year when Jason and I had joined, we were required to make a video as an introduction to our class and we were stressed out. We had, we there was so much miscommunication. We could not get everyone all together. We barely sub, like completed the video on time and it was literally uploading like five minutes before we needed to present it in the class and so um, it was very chaotic and overall super disorganized. And let me tell you, if we had to make a video this year right now, it would be so much better, so much smoother because we really learn a lot while in ASB um, because ASB is like a family. It's a big family environment with a bunch of diverse group of students who are really our mentors in a way because they teach us so many things and they kind of pass down different skills and we can learn from their mistakes um, and and also with mistakes it's a very like safe environment to make a mistake yes we have like pressure to get things done and do things right but um, we know we can rely on our ASB members if we do make a mistake and so that's where it's very comfortable because um, like I said it's a family and even when uh, a student graduates from FOSS, they're still a part of the FOSS family. Like um, 
I'm the treasurer right now and the treasurer from last year. She's graduated, she's in Hawaii, and I still text her like, hey, where did you get this item? Or does this log sheet look okay? Because I know she's still there for me and she will still support me even when she's in a different state. Um, and I think Jason can add on more about the Foss family. Yeah, so I to mention that Foss is really just the it's it's a pretty small school, but that just allows us to become more um, just more involved with each other, become more of a family, be just more closer to one another. And ASB really just helps um, just support our own students, but also support each other in the ASB class. Um, Nadia and I, we are both full. I be diploma students, which means that we do have a lot on our plate. And being officers, that means we do have extra responsibilities, but we are still part of all these clubs, all these sports and ASB, because we know that other people will support us if we do need help and we'll be able to get things accomplished and be able to fulfill our roles. Um, I'd like to mention that even like when you join ASB, at first I was like definitely very shy, very like kept to myself. And I like ask other people all the time, like, oh, what was your first impression of me when I joined ASB? And they're like, oh, I thought you were shy and you didn't want to talk to anyone. But I think that like, I don't know if you can tell now, but um, ASB has really helped me gain confidence in myself and I get to just be with the people I love and work together with them and just be able to grow myself. Um, last year during virtual classes, bring in the whole new environment for ASB, it was very difficult for us to do certain events and activities due to not only just the restriction of being online, but other COVID restrictions, but we worked together and we were able to work around these limits and still do our best to involve the school and prepare events despite just being having being on an online environment. Um, also last year, um, the upperclassmen brought up to me of being the secretary for ASB, which at the time I was like, oh, I don't think I could do that. Like, I don't think I can balance that and I don't think I'm responsible enough as a sophomore to take on this role this year. But I knew that, or and they also reassured me that the other ASB members and just the people around me will be able to support me and just help me with anything I need help with. Um, with the online environment, I'd like to pass it back to Nadia, who does have a story to tell about a virtual experience. Yeah, so I think all of us have been, well, obviously all of us have been in an online meeting and sometimes it can be really awkward and really quiet. Um, so in order to kind of like break the ice, ASB, we played this murder mystery game where we had to solve the, um, the mystery. And it was really nice because it allowed us to work in groups and really communicate and we weren't allowed to, uh, like physically show our clues or like type it in the chat. And so it was all about communication, all about talking together. And um, at the end, we had to present it and the team that was the closest to the correct answer got the most points. And of course, my team won, you already know. Um, and it caused some disagreement between the other group, but we know who the real winners are. And it was fun to see everyone's competitive side come out. It was really nice. And Jason, he was on the losing team, so I'm sure he can add something to that. Yeah, I was on the losing team and we were angry by losing just by a few points at the end. But yeah, it is what it is. Um, my one of my favorite memory memories would be before I actually joined ASB. Um, I was very close with the upperclassmen, especially the seniors and most of them were involved in ASB and when it comes to homecoming season 
um, ASB decorates an entire hallway in the school with posters about advertising the event and just making posters about the theme of the homecoming dance. And um, I was there when it all happened and when they were putting up the posters and it really just made me want to join ASB, seeing everyone work together, making these posters, putting them up and just collaborating with one another. Um, if anything we said interests anyone by any chance, we would really love to see you come to FOSS and maybe run for ASB once freshman elections open next year. We'd really love to have you join our family and use your help to bring more school spirit to the school. And also, I don't know if we can ask questions, but if there's any questions about anything we said, any clubs or sports, just ask us. Thank you, Jason and Nadia. Um, there will be a Q&A at the end, and I can definitely get you guys in touch with ASB if that's something that interests you. Mr. Purdy. All right, go ahead. I'm going to talk about what IB is. Uh, so kind of like I introduced at the beginning, it's an international organization. It's all over the globe on all the major continents, not Antarctica, but all the other continents all have IB schools. And it is a an elementary through um, secondary school program. All right, let's go ahead. I already talked about those points as well. Uh, so at FOSS, so technically IB has four major programs, the primary years program, the middle years program, which you see in red there, the diploma program, which you see in blue, and the career program, which you see in violet or purple. And the IB does a nice job of color coding things. And since I'm an art teacher, this makes a lot of sense to me. So think about the, the red one is for ninth and 10th graders. So all students at FOSS, you're automatically an IB student when you come to FOSS. Uh, it, it's a way of teaching and learning and how we grade as well. And then there's two different um, programs for juniors and seniors, and I'll talk more in detail about all three of these. So uh, IB has this learner profile that goes across all four programs, the elementary kiddos and the middle schoolers and through the high school. Um, and there are different attributes that we try and teach the students and we try and model for the students as staff and it's about being inquirers, knowledgeable thinkers, communicators, principled, open-minded, caring, risk-takers, balanced, and reflective. And actually we also have a student of the month and teacher of the month program and every month throughout the year the teachers nominate and vote for students and staff who uh, display and live out these attributes of the learner profile. So the middle years program, it, like I said, is for our ninth and 10th grade students. Technically, it's a five year program. So some of the middle schools in Tacoma uh, and across the state and across the world um, have it for sixth, seventh and eighth graders and then ninth and 10th for Foss High School. Uh, it has eight different subject domains and each of these are considered to be similar in weight. The first um, the first few of them do have a little bit more priority just in terms of the, what we teach in the United States, but um, there's seven different domains there. So language and literature is like English class. Language B, so at FOSS we have French, uh, Spanish, and Chinese, and then a, a smaller Korean class as well. Uh, group three is individuals and societies, which is social studies. Group four is sciences, and at FOSS we have physics, biology and chemistry, and we're going to be adding exercise sports science hopefully in the next couple of years by the time you eighth graders uh, come on up. And lost my train of thought. Group five is mathematics. Group six is the arts, and we have visual arts and music at FOSS. And then groups, uh, group seven is PE and health education, and group eight is design. And design is kind of the umbrella that we use for our career technical education teachers. So culinary arts, um, Ms. Crab's um, program for business and marketing and for Microsoft IT, things like that. The diploma program is one of the two programs for juniors and seniors. So this is when you hear IB, like FOSS is an IB school, this is probably what most people are saying. Um, they're probably just talking about the diploma program. So this is the one that 
can save you money over the course of your education. This is where you can earn college credit. There are six major subjects in the diploma program. And if you take one of the, if you take even one of the classes, um, you have the potential to earn college credit in that class. And at FOSS, you automatically are gonna take English your junior year, and your senior year. So um, we hope that you walk away with at least one college credit when you leave FOSS High School, hopefully more. So if you take four or more classes, that's called our associate program. And if you take six or more classes, or sorry, six classes plus the core, which is extended essay, theory of knowledge, and creativity activity service. That's our full diploma program. Uh, the career program. So we are technically a candidate school for pr career program. I'm pretty proud of this. We will be the second this spring. We're planning to get certified. It's been a multiple year program or process to get certified. Like I said, it takes a while for a whole school to get certified in any of the in any of the IB programs. Um, so we're planning to get certified this spring. And what this means um, is that students in 11th and 12th grade can take two diploma program courses and then they'll do a project and take a class called PPS, Personal Professional Skills and the Language Development Component and Service Learning and Career Studies. Um, so this is a really great program for, let's say a student loves ROTC and they wanna take ROTC for four years and um, they do two other IB DP classes, diploma program classes like English and social studies or biology and English or math and English. And I say English because we have the most students who take the English DP diploma program class. Um, so it's a very achievable certification to get a career program certificate. And we're excited to add that. Um, we'll be the second school in the state of Washington to have this program, only Thomas Jefferson in um, in Federal Way has this program and will be one of the few states um, in the Pacific Northwest. So Alaska, Montana, Idaho, Washington, and Oregon are all part of a consortium where I work with the other coordinators and talk about our programs and try and get um, programs built and, and grow them. So I'm really proud to say we'll be only one of like one of five in the five state region that will have all three programs, which is which is pretty amazing. Okay, next one. I'm gonna pass it over to Aisha and Tara. Um, I don't see Tara in the meeting, but um, I guess I'll get started. Um, so I'm Aisha and I'm a senior this year and um, I'm involved in a lot of stuff. So I'm not a full IB student, but I do have, I think, three IB core classes and then um, yeah <laughs> um, so my favorite classes this year um, one has always been ROTC um, I'm actually the cadet commander of our whole program and being part of ROTC um, it's a student-led program so a lot of the things um, here at FOSS you get to um, take get that opportunity to be a leader just like in ASB or in your clubs and whatever that you choose to do in sports you get to have the opportunity to be a student leader which I really enjoy and obviously I might be a little biased um, but I'll promote ROTC because um, it's a really great opportunity to build um, character and citizenship and our our mission statement is I am uh, to develop citizens of character developed as serving their nation and community um, and I think that's a really great mission statement because it defines all that our program is about. It's not recruiting for the military. So if you think we're going to send you to boot camp or something, <laughs> you're wrong. Um, but yeah, so we're we're just all about leading and getting that opportunity to come out of your shell. A lot of the people that I work alongside um, in ROTC, um, they've grown a lot, like the people in my grade as well as the younger students that I'm seeing a lot of interest from. It's it's really great to see. Um, it's had it's had a really positive um, influence on me. When I first joined ROTC as a freshman, I was really skeptical about it. Like I had seen the, the students in their uniforms um, when they came to visit my my middle school when I was at Truman in eighth grade. And I was like, oh, they look so cool. I want to I want to sign up for the class and see what happens. And when I got to the class and we started doing doing the the in entry tasks and everything, I was a little skeptical. Um, 
but it was I'm glad I stayed in the program because I'm I'm here now and I've had long long lasting memories and one of the things that we have and that we offer not just in the class but like outside of class we do our special teams so those consist of color guard unarmed drill team arm drill team academic drill team well, academic team and then our physical fitness team so each of these teams have something for you if you're good at um using equipment if you're good at coming up with rhythms and beats and stuff if you like doing that if you're if you like doing things like cheerleading related kind of the same thing but a little more a little bit more self-disciplined um but it's really a great experience and that's the one like one of the biggest highlights um and i'm also the daffodil princess if you didn't hear that before i'm the 2022 daffodil princess for foss and I'm really excited to represent um, not just the school, but for Pierce County as well. And um, I, I think it'll be a good service opportunity, a good opportunity to make bonds with other schools as well. And um, I think that's it. Thank you, Aisha. Mr. Fullerton. Hello, I'm Mr. Fullerton. I'm the librarian at FOSS and um, I also teach a class called Theory of Knowledge. A few of the students in here are in my TOK class. Um, so first of all, uh, one of the great things to reasons to come to FOSS is um, because of the IB programs, we're very much an inquiry driven school. We give students an opportunity to explore topics that you are curious about um, and that uh, ranges from um, in your classes, having opportunities to look at how the things that your teachers are talking about apply to specific issues that you're curious about with little research, uh, mini research along the way. Um, and then um, I'm surrounded by books. Um, I want to encourage students as readers and writers. Um, and uh, um, so uh, love having uh, the library be an active place students are in before school after school lunch um, at certain times there's games out um, we also at FOSS have a period for students every second day called seminar um, which is an opportunity to get help and support for whatever classes you need um, and um, some students come to the library during that time whether it's to to study um, if they're caught up with things maybe to to read and do other uh, work um, I want to talk briefly about the class I teach, Theory of Knowledge, um, which is a course about how do we know the things that we think we know? Um, and some of it can be kind of conversations like the matrix. Is it real or are we just in a dream? Um, but even more importantly, um, our conversations kind of based on what's what counts as good evidence to support the ideas that we have? And how is that kind of evidence different for different people? Um, if a scientist and an artist are talking, they may have different standards of what counts as good evidence. Um, and we want to learn to be able to, to hear other people's perspectives, learn from them, um, but also and uh, understand how to support our own perspectives and beliefs and ideas, um, but listen respectfully and have conversations across um, ideas and across cultures, whether we agree with one another or not, being able to learn from one another and listen and talk respectfully about our ideas. Um, I also supervise a couple clubs. Uh, I think uh, a couple students earlier mentioned the Readers and Writers Club in the library. Um, I've also been sponsor for uh, the Honor Society at FOSS and um, we just love to have as uh, students who are kind of passionate about learning, um, passionate about exploring and uh, wanting to, to follow your passions and interests come to FOSS. And if you end up as a full IB diploma candidate aiming to earn that extra internationally recognized diploma on top of your regular Tacoma Public Schools uh, diploma, um, you'll sign up with me and get to do a, a capstone research project uh, on a topic of interest to you.
Um, I think I'm also going to pause here and just mention one aside. I, uh, I think Jason at the beginning mentioned being a little bit smaller school and the kind of FOSS family atmosphere that provides. Uh, FOSS is a school of a little over 600 students. And if you go to one of the other big comprehensive high schools in Tacoma, um, those schools may be 1,200 to 1,600 students, much bigger. And one of the great things about FOSS being a little bit smaller is you get a chance to get to know your teachers and your teachers get to know you a little, a little better and um, being able to be involved in clubs and sports and getting to know a, a bigger network of students. Um, some who may look and think like you and some who may look very different and sometimes think very different from you uh, and being able to, to build that uh, cross-cultural understanding. Um, I will put in one last plug. You've heard a lot about IB and we can tell you more about IB and you can look up information on the International Baccalaureate website. FOSS is one of two International Baccalaureate schools in Tacoma. Um, and the other one charges more than $30,000 a year in tuition. And we offer that same curriculum uh, to high school students um, and uh, you can come and great, get that great internationally recognized uh, IB curriculum here at FOSS. All right, thank you. And you can put questions in the Q&A if there's anything else you want to know. So I had two student videos um, from our ninth grade football players, some of our top student athletes. I'm going to wait a second and see if it's just buffering to play. And I'll mention these students wanted to be with us, but they're probably on the bus just coming back from their football game right now. Um, so if the videos aren't going to work, I'll share a little bit about these students. So Travion is a ninth grade student. He plays football. I believe he's on the D line. Um, he's in AP Human Geography, one of my courses. Great student. He chose to come here over some of the other um, comprehensive high schools in Tacoma. Our next ninth grade uh, student athlete that we have is So Lin. He's also in my AP Human Geography class. He had older uh, family members that went here and graduated from here, so we made the choice to come here, even though he lives, uh, you know, in a different zone. Um, he also made the choice to come here, and he's very active in the student body and is um, happy that he made the choice to come here instead of some of the other comprehensive high schools. And this is me, Mr. Page. So I'm going to talk a little bit about my background um, and some of the other bullet points on this slide. So I'm actually a graduate from this high school. I graduated from FOSS in 2009. Um, after I got my teaching certificate and my master's, this was the only school I applied at because it's the only place I want to be. Some of my teachers um, that I had when I went to school here are now my colleagues and more importantly, they're my family. Um, in the middle of this picture, we see Mr. Langton. He's one of our science teachers. This was at his wedding a few years ago. This is Mr. Kagochi, who is also one of the science teachers here at FOSS. And uh, we were both at his wedding. And the ties that we make between um, the colleagues and the other staff members that teach here and the students is really strong. Um, I have students that graduated years ago that invite me to their baby showers. I have other staff members who just had kids and I babysit for them. Uh, Mr. Powers just had a kid. He's our Spanish teacher and I was babysitting his son just a couple weekends ago. So family is really important here. You're always going to find somebody that cares about you that you can connect with and that's going to have your back to support you. I'm also the ASB advisor. Um, so Nadia and Jason are both in my ASB class. I think Jason was a little bit upset with me when his team lost because there were some uh, disagreements about the scoring criteria. However, I will say one awesome thing about Foss High School is that we 
use the same rubrics in our classes. So the scoring on assignments is very clear to students. It looks similar from classroom to classroom. They have very clear rubrics that tell you what you're supposed to do, what you're not supposed to do, how you get an A. Um, so, and I think that ties back to being a family, right? We want what's best for students and we want to be clear and we want to eliminate barriers. I'm also the girls assistant bowling coach. Every year we have a successful program and every year we send at least one girl to state. And I'm a history teacher as well. I teach AP Human Geography, which is a really awesome course. You get to study different cultures around the world and how we're connected and how those connections are made. Um, because of my role as ASB advisor, I'm also familiar with the clubs. We have BSU, GSA, Culture Club, which before the pandemic, they were actually planning on spending a week in Europe. Um, so if you like to travel, learn about different cultures, there's a place for you here and you will have a good time. Ms. Tafuna. Hello. Okay, so I am one of the three counselors at FOSS. Um, so of all the great programs that were described from our students and from um, my fellow staff members, us as counselors, we're kind of behind the scenes, making sure that students are on track and they're okay and everything is going well so that they can participate in full IB, in sports and clubs. Um, so we kind of wear a couple different hats. Um, our biggest job is making sure everyone gets to graduation on time. Um, we track credits schedules, make sure everyone is in the classes that they need and also classes that will help them um, get the best chance um, for going to their dream college or um, for what is their passion, um, whatever that may be. So the other hat that we wear is um, taking care of the social emotional need within the school. Um, which, as everyone knows, is is even more important um, as we're rolling out of the COVID-19 pandemic. Um, so I am the current counselor for the ninth grade and 11th grade class, and we roll with our classes. So next year, um, my ninth graders will be 10th graders and my 11th graders will be 12th graders, and I will continue to be their counselor. Um, so I kind of am like, we call it the odd years counselor. And then my colleague, Carrie Basson, is our even years counselor. So she currently has the 10th graders and 12th graders, and her 12th graders will be graduating and she'll pick up the new ninth grade class coming in. And then we have um, another counselor, Heather Washington, who helps support all of the grades and um, especially making sure students are on track and that we can get everyone to graduation. Um, so a pretty cool thing that we have at FOSS is we have resources and referrals and a huge care closet for any students just needing a notebook. Um, we've got food supplies, we've got clothing supplies, hygiene. Um, we partner with community partners for mental health. Um, and of course, like um, our graduation programs like TRIO and CSF and things like that. So we do a lot of different things in the schools. And um, for anyone who has questions, please, please reach out. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Purdy. I see your comment. Please reach out. We'd be more than happy to discuss everything um, about FOSS, give a tour, things like that. So thank you. Should I just introduce myself? I'm Carrie Crab. Hi, I teach business and marketing and I also teach Microsoft IT Academy. And then after school, we have your book club. So I'm not sure if there's any questions about that. 
It's part of CTE, which is the Career Technical Education Department. So we have quite a big team of us that all focuses on um, career technical education and making sure you're learning 21st century skills. Thank you, Ms. Crab. Yeah. Next up, we are going to have Mr. Wagner, our choir and orchestra teacher, share a little bit about the program. Um, he was unable to make it. Mr. Greer, would you like to speak at all to our choir, band, and orchestra program? Yes, good evening, everyone. Uh, yes, uh, sorry that Mr. Wagner could not make it, but he is our new uh, music teacher teaching again uh, percussion, uh, band, orchestra, IB music theory, and uh, choir. Uh, we have been trying to find a, a teacher to to be with us for these last couple of years. But uh, the good thing about it, uh, I was able to find Mr. Uh, Wagner because he was actually uh, the teacher, the music teacher at the IB primary years program that I had authorized in McCarver Elementary. And so the good thing is that we have a music teacher that understands where our students need to go and learning how to support them in the performing arts. So uh, please come out if you uh, love music and, and like performing and learning more about music. You want to connect with Mr. Wagner, our music teacher here at FOSS. Mr. Page, I see Tara is back. I wonder if she wanted to or if they wanted to share anything. Yeah, I'll check in. Tara, did you want to go ahead and share and introduce yourself and a little bit about your experience here at FOSS? Yeah, absolutely. Um, apologies, I've been having <laughs> some technology issues. Um, yeah, my face is in there somewhere, maybe. <laughs> um, but yeah, hello, my name is Tara. Um, my pronouns are they, she. I am a junior at FOSS, um, like Nadia and Jason, and Ms. Tabuna is my counselor, <laughs> and all these lovely staff members um, support me in, in the FOSS family, and it's wonderful. Um, I am a full diploma program student and um, also super involved in clubs and activities and leadership at FOSS. Um, in my time here, I've had the support to found um, two different clubs, um, that being the Readers and Writers Club, which is um, so gracefully facilitated by Mr. Fullerton um, and the Ethnic Studies Environment and Ethics Coalition, which um, is facilitated by the um, wonderful Miss Modavan. And I'd also like to like uh, shout out our amazing Key Club, who has weathered the pandemic and um, worked really hard to serve the FOSS and Greater Tacoma community um, throughout these last two years. Uh, if anybody watching is like part of a builders club or maybe heard of Key Club, um, it's an amazing international organization that um, FOSS is super proud to be a part of. Um, and Jason and I help lead here at FOSS. Um, Oh, she's on mute. I don't know if she knows that. My my parent came to um, bring me some food, which was very kind. Uh, yeah, we we also like uh, have a really strong um, Black Student Union at FOSS who puts on and does a lot of amazing work um, around Black History Month, um, and in, like. 
we are planning on putting together like they're planning on putting together some um, digital material that will be accessible to anybody. Um, so you can check them out on Instagram um, or YouTube. Um, or just come join next year. Uh, OK, uh, specific positive experiences that I've had. Um, I, I was actually like I was my heart was very warm looking at that old ASV picture, which is on the slide before this, because um, I, I you can see uh, wait. wait. Oh, it's several slides back. Huh, sorry, <laughs> but yeah, there's an old ASV picture with um, some former um, diploma candidates who, like Jason mentioned, really take on um, a mentorship role for uh, underclassmen and just generally their peers. And I think the specifically the connections and um, those those relationships that I've I've had with um, older students uh, and just how much I've learned from them has been probably one of the most positive things I've experienced at FOSS. Um, Stephen Tran, who graduated last year with his IB diploma and is now at UW Seattle um, studying biochemistry and biomed, um, was and is amazing. And um, I took on, um, I'm, I'm now one of the, the presidents of, of math team. Our math team um, has uh, taken <laughs> taken awards at the state level for many, many years now. Um, I can't I can't tell you how many in a row because uh, it's a lot. Uh, and um, that is a group at FOSS that I am super proud to be a part of and now lead. Um, there are so many there are so many legacies, communities and um, just general like coalition at FOSS, which are amazing and exist because of these lovely staff members who are here to talk to you tonight, um, as well as students and, and leaders like Jason, Nadia, and Ayesha. Um, but yeah, if you can't tell, I really like Foss and I think you should come join us. <laughs> Thank you, Tara, for sharing. Uh, You've been an awesome student over the last few years and taking on a lot of leadership roles, so I'm glad that you were able to make it and I hope you enjoy the food that your parents just dropped off for you. Mr. Greer, do you want to? Yeah, sure. Over? So uh, for all of our listeners and viewers out there, um, if you are a parent or a student or community member that are that has been watching, if you have any questions that you would like answered that you have not heard uh, addressed or gotten an answer to or need a little bit more clarity on. If you are able to respond and uh, get on unmute your mic or if you're able to put uh, your question in the chat, I would be and the panel would be happy to respond and we can record those responses in our chat right now. And just for clarification, Mr. Greer, I think because of the way this meeting set is set up, participants probably won't be able to turn on their mics, but you can put questions in the Q&A and we can respond to gotcha. them there or respond out gotcha. loud. So if, it, if somebody is able to monitor that Q&A, because I don't know if I can actually see them, but we will answer the questions as quickly and efficiently as we possibly can. We have about five minutes for a Q&A session right now. Mm -hmm. 
And while we're waiting on those responses, I just want to uh, say, give a super big shout out to all of our wonderful students. You guys rocked it this evening. You guys, uh, we really appreciate your representation of your school and talking about the passion that you've had and the experiences that you had in your high school um, uh, career. Uh, to our lovely teachers who have uh, taken the time out of a very long day to be a part of this this uh, broadcast for lack of a, of a better expression. Uh, but again, parents and, and family and friends, this is what we're talking about, the Foss family, that we may not have all of those moving parts here, but we we show up and we, we, we show out when we need to. We come together uh, to let the whole community know what FOSS is about, and we're proud, we're FOSS, we're FOSS strong. Uh, this is my fourth year uh, as one of the assistant principals at FOSS. Uh, I was really elated to have the opportunity to work at another IB school after, um, after FOSS, I mean, after McCarver Elementary, only because I believe in, in the ideology and what, uh, you know, what IB does for, for for kids um, and I was able to see my my elementary students from McCarver end up graduating from an IB school so with an IB diploma in some cases so uh, it was really um, it was really fascinating and really uh, heartfelt to see the total progression of students from one end of the spectrum to the to the other and understanding that they are nowhere done yet that they're going to continue to push for, uh, far and beyond the limits that they've even set for themselves so way to go i think i can i see one question that i can uh, jump in and answer um sure, the, what's question the question is what classes does a freshman typically take? So um, for freshmen, we have um, all freshmen take English one. Um, all freshmen take AP Human Geography. There are a few cases where students have taken it in eighth grade. Um, in that event, they may have the opportunity to move to um, AP World History. Um, that's case by case. So um, for math, whether students have taken pre-algebra, algebra or geometry will determine the math level for ninth grade. So for example, if you took algebra in eighth grade, you would be taking geometry in ninth grade. Um, for science, all freshmen take biology. And then we try to get most freshmen into PE and health. Um, and that usually is we're able to work that out. And then they have the opportunity to choose one other elective um, from our great CTE program, art program, music program that um, was discussed earlier. And then all freshmen also take a world language. Um, many students have beginner and intermediate um, French or Spanish in middle school, so they're able to jump into French or Spanish um, and I think Chinese as well, um, too. So the second level as freshmen, or they get to choose the language and that they want and start that um, at the beginner level as a ninth grader. Thank you. Mr. Greer, you might be able to answer this. There's one. a couple of other questions in the chat too. One question. All right, I'll just finish typing the one. Shoot. If the student doesn't live in the FOSS district, is there a school bus to pick them up? Uh, typically, no. Um, while there is choice of enrollment around the district, if you choose uh, to go to any school outside of your uh, neighborhood school or that is setting the boundary, uh, you are uh, expected to provide your own transportation. Uh, there are some cases where, you know, it's it's on a case by case basis. But if you choose, uh, you know, largely if you choose to go to a school outside of your boundary, then you would have to find your way into and from that school. But students may be able to get an ORCA card to use public transportation to do that. That is correct.
Uh, I'm actually a student that lives outside the district. Um, when I started FOSS, I was living in Fircrest, but then we've moved since then, and so I just get dropped off um, to and from school. I, I get dropped off to school, picked up in school. And I chose to continue at FOSS because I really love it here, and I didn't want to give up that everything that I had been involved in. Thank you, Nadia. Yeah. I'm glad you shared. I was worried last year when you told me you were moving, so I'm glad you were able to stick around. And if you are a student that lives in the Geodrone neighborhood and you already go to an IB school, which Geodrone is an IB school already, I am working with the district to try and get transportation from that middle school, even though it's outside of the FOSS boundary. So I'm really close to that. Uh, if there are parents or students that want to join me in advocating for that, please send me an email and I will let the district know that's something that we want to fund and we want to provide that transportation so that you can do the whole IB trajectory. Did you see the other question in there? How many students usually do running start? Mr. Perry, I don't know if you want to assist me in answering this one. Um, so we have a very small number of students that do running start, and that is because of um, it's running start usually takes place in the junior year, um, which is the same time our IB program um, for the full diploma starts and um, the benefits of doing full diploma um, IB are far greater than that of doing running start. Um, Mr. Purdy, I'll let you jump in on that a little bit more. Yeah, we get this question quite a bit and it's a fair question. Um, the differences are that Running Start will only transfer credits to schools within the unit within the state of Washington. IB will transfer credits not only across the United States, but all over the world. So if that's something that's important to you and your family, um, we definitely have a bias towards IB. Also, if you are a student that does the IB full diploma program, that's considered um, a more rigorous academic program. And so when you apply to any college or university across the globe, um, Ms. Tafuna and our other counselors are going to fill out what's like a common application and they're going to report to the college what your class rank is, what your GPA is, all that kind of stuff. And there's a special box that they will check or not check for IB. And so if you if you are a student that does the IB program, you're going to get that box checked and I I can tell you that any college admissions counselor in the United States is going to put you in a separate pile that's like the high priority pile and not the maybe pile. So it definitely increases your chances to getting into more colleges and universities. It's it's seen as very prestigious, very rigorous, um, but also really well supported. We we are increasing our student numbers who do the full diploma program to better reflect the diversity that's at FOSS, which we love and we celebrate. And so it's not a program for it might it, back in the 80s and 90s. It was kind of seen as a program for the elite, for those um, oil barons and tycoons, you know, with families in Saudi Arabia and whatnot. And um, and for those who are part of the Department of Defense and for those kinds of uh, families. But really, um, IB is working to diversify and we want to have a program that celebrates and reflects the diversity of our awesome students in Tacoma. Um, it's it's definitely more prestigious um, and if you score also what's different um, about IB and Running Start if you score at certain levels on the IB exams which you take at the end of your senior year for the most part some juniors take IB exams uh, included in this meeting here um, so when you if you score high enough um, depending on the college or university you're going to go above and beyond multiple classes so for example, at University of Washington or Central Washington University, you can bypass multiple pre prerequisite, prerequisite classes in math or in science or English, um, depending on how high you score on the IB exam in the spring. So that's definitely, um, definitely a different um, type of perk and benefit from the IB program. And also, let me just add one more thing. Um, running start, you go to a community college campus 
and you're there with 40 year old white men, maybe like this guy, and there's nothing wrong with 40 year old white men going to community college to further their education. I love that. Um, but the teachers at Running Start don't necessarily have teacher training at all. They may not have teaching credentials. And at FOSS, the teachers are specifically trained in the IB program to be able to teach IB classes um, at the diploma program system. So that's really something to keep in mind uh, when you're thinking about high quality education with feedback to students so that they're successful. The teachers have um, continue that ongoing certification every five years. They have to be um, renewing their their credentials with the International Baccalaureate. So that's that's part of the <laughs> I can go on, but those are some of the main the main differences. All right, so once again, I want to thank all of the families of the future Falcons that attended. Um, I look forward to meeting you guys in the future. Uh, once again, I want to thank the staff and students that turned out to talk about FOSS. Um, out of respect for your time, I know you all have class tomorrow morning, 7.30 a.m. Don't be late. Uh, I'm going to wrap this meeting up. If you have any other questions, please visit www.fossfalcons.org and you can contact our principal, Lissandra Ness, at lness at tacoma.k12.wa.us or you can call our main office and they'll get you to the appropriate individual. I hope you all have a good night. It was at home, so you don't need to drive safe. Um, if you are not at home, please drive safe and I'll see you all sometime in the future. Have a good night.